Welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Follow me on Instagram, www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your creative friends. Today we have Index Card A Day iCAD number 14. It's a great tutorial, perfect for the beginner. It's entitled, If You Pour It, They Will Come. It's a wine theme, iCAD. In it, I'm using Mixed Media Technique Tag number 10, the salt technique. Links to the products I use can be found in the description box below. So we're getting ready to do index card of day number 14. And here I have the gessoed card. And I think this time we're going to use the salt technique. And in the index card or the mixed media technique tag, this is number 10. And in that video where I give step-by-step -step instructions using a variety of mediums, I use the Lindy Starburst, homemade Wilton sprays, um, Dilutions paints, Americana craft paint, Distress crayons, and the Neo Color 2s. So I'm going to use my Distress crayons, digging them out because that's one of the things that I wanted to do with these videos is dig out things that I'm not using on a regular basis. And when I look back, I had written on the back of my tag, apply direct or make pool. Avoid pooling but needs enough waters. So the dis colors of Distress Crayon that I'm using in the creation of this iCAD, we have Barn Door, Ripe Persimmon, Seedless Preserves, and Aged Mahogany. And I'm picking these colors. I'm planning to um, I'm planning to do a wine themed card. So I want kind of wine colors here. Okay, so we're just going to get these activated. Got some globs happening. I like the richness. I should have taped that down, but I did not. So I have my salt. Do, do, do. 
loving the color combos. And now we're just going to let that dry. Okay, so I did use my heat tool a little bit to boozy it along. I'm just going to, once it cools, because it will still, the paper will be hot. Bit of a messy job. You can see the texture that you got by the salt technique. And this is kosher salt, pickling salt. Every salt works a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do, I did some, got some clip art of wine glasses and I think I'm just going to there. Kind of, I think this one would be a nice fridge magnet. Okay, so we have uncork and unwind. I'm going to play If you pour it, they will come. I'm kind of liking. I think I need this. Now they've got a little dark there that one color, so I'm going to put that underneath. Put it like that. Zoom out. I think that is how we are going to do this. I'm going to apply a coat of clear gesso here. Never been done on, I've never tried it. Don't want to play very much with this. But I don't want this to reactivate when I do my negative effect. So I'm just kind of sealing it. And as you can see, I got very, very little color off of the distressed crayons which I like because they, they act as a water soluble, you know, like watercolors and the like. So I'm just going to dry that. I know it's kind of streaky, but this will dry clear. I just didn't want to rub too terribly much on the distress crayons. I did not want to reactivate them and I didn't want to lose my salt technique. So I'm hoping that what I've chosen to do here will 
seal them. And I guess we're going to find out together. Okay, so played around a little bit with the composition and that always takes a little time. Don't get frustrated. Uh, you know, take pictures with your phone or camera to see if you like it, um, the way it's that it's going. Um, you know, play around, turn, you know, your substrate this way, that way, if, to see which you like it. And, you know, and then trust your instincts when something says, oh, I like this. Now, what I'm looking at here, I'm thinking I need something a little bit more on here. So I am getting out my trusty script stamp. I had thought to do this before I put the salt technique, but I, then I forgot. And you can see it's just adding one more layer of that. And since I have the black out here, I'm just going to edge this. loving the colors and you know I put my gesso on and it was very streaky I don't know if it's completely dry but you can still see those streaks there and I'm okay with that because hey more texture right okay so now we kind of want that in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around these with my Stabilo all pencil, but you can use a watercolor crayon. I'm just going to sharpen it to get a bit of a point here. Instead of gluing this on, I am going to do the float technique and that will outline it. So we have one, we're going to lose some kind of the, there we go, it's down below, some precision, that's okay. These are pretty tiny on an iCAD, so we'll see if I can pull this off. Otherwise, you can just glue these down. I would paint them probably a solid color. Maybe just go with burgundy or even just black. Always options. and. I have my very, very, very thin angle brush in case I run into trouble here. I'm going to use Payne's Gray, but I could grab, uh, actually we're going to grab black here. Put a little on my
So you can use a smaller one. I'm going to try the big one and see. thinking I should have not trace the second one because now I'm gonna run in into them together this part here that one's overlapping so I'm going to that will just come off with baby wipe in a minute. I'm going to dry this. I want this to... You can always go darker. Sorry about that. So the clear gesso is doing its trick. I am not reactivating the Distress Crayons at all. So that is good news. Going to go around the edges with the oops. With the float technique because I've got it all out here. Just getting rid of, this is the Stabilo All Pencil that's coming off. You don't have to do this other than where you don't want it, but I'm planning on varn giving this a good coat of varnish when it's completely dry. So I know it'll reactivate at that time, so it's best to get it out right now. Really liking this. I have some of that black here so I'm just going to edge this kind of grunge it up a little bit as well because it's just a little too pristine for this background If you don't have clip art, magazines have wine glasses, you can just collage a wine glass that's on there. You can get quite a, quite a few wine glasses. 
um, just collage that right on. You can cut it out of your gel prints or okay you know and you know what I'm thinking right <laughs> if you watch any of my videos you know I'm going for the gold right Just going to put a little gold on my craft mat here a little bit of water I'm gonna grab my fan brush there. I'm going to give that a dry. Okay. Grab my mat gel. There we go. I'm thinking we're going to do some fine lining. my wonderful 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 fine liner bottle so I'm going to put a link to the distress crayons and to the fine liner bottle uh, you can check out my Pinterest boards I think there's a wine themed art all the, any of the quotes that I have I might have found them if I found them there that's where they'll be Again, this is just plain acrylic paint on Liquitex Basics that has been thinned down to the consistency. I just kind of trial and error. I, sorry, don't have any. And when I put it in the bottle, I don't fill the whole bottle up. I, you know, just about a third, no more than a half. It does over time sometimes start glooping up depending on the paint that you're using. There you go. So what I'm going to, I will come back and we're going to finish the back of this because this is intended to be a fridge magnet and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. We did the front and because I want this to be a fridge magnet that can go, you know, or on the microwave or something can just kind of be there, kind of a cute, you know, you can just, um, Put this on a tag take a bottle of wine for um to a friend's house what i went through is i went through my gel prints and 
I think I'm just going to use this one, which is just the Bray Ring Off Sheet when I'm doing my... using my jelly plate. I'm just braid it off. And so I think I'm just going to put that right there. It's the right colors. They kind of match the front. I'm just going to put a coat of this. You can see this had some distress crayons on there. And when I put the varnish, put that on, do you see how it's reactivated? There, all of that's kind of reactivated. So that's why we did the coat of gesso or the white clear gesso on there. That is why. because we don't want it, didn't want it to reactivate and we would have lost all our salt technique, texture. You could paint this. I just find there's a high likelihood that you're going to get it onto the other side. So because I have gel prints or colored paper, I find this is a, a faster way of doing it. And there's less likelihood that I'm going to make a mess on the front. This just kind of finishes it off, which is nice. I mean, you can make this into a bookmark, put a, you know, hole punch it, put a little tassel on it. Nice little hostess gift. As you can see, that was just an old phone book. That paper, this used printy kind of paper, works so well for, for gel prints when you use them as collage. The paper just, yeah, I really enjoy it, so. And you can see it just kind of finishes it off kind of nicely in there. Just gonna get make sure this is dry and we'll be back. Okay, so if you look on the side, you can see that it's white there. And I just, you know, perfectionist that I am, <laughs> don't really like that. So I'm just coming in with some black just to edge and get rid of that white. Okay, that just, you know, just a little bit finished little more finished makeup sponge just put them in the water or spray them with Murphy's oil so my little mixture and away you go so now I have these magnetic sheets and I'm just cutting them with scissors and I'll put a link to those I found some on Amazon if you're interested in getting them you can turn any a piece of your art into fridge magnet or it can go on to filing cabinets anything magnetic, right? So I'm just going to put that in the center. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give this a try, whether it's a wine um, themed or whether you just get, you can do a heart and do the same technique with hearts or any shape that you prefer. Okay, so because this is going on a fridge magnet, I just wanted to show you, I'm going to use gloss medium and varnish. This is Liquitex to cover this once it's completely dry. I'm going to give it, you know, a good couple days, if not longer, before I put this on. Gloss will be shiny. So, you know, I just, because it's going where it's going. Would I do this with all my iCads? No, absolutely not. Depending on the effect that I want and the use of your art. So this is usable art. See you for the next iCAD. Thanks for watching.